Hello, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Rao Sabistar, and I'm working as uh, assistant professor in uh, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad, Pakistan. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic, which is uh, adoption of uh, sustainable agriculture practices and uh, livelihood vulnerability due to climate change among smallholders agro ecosystem in Pakistan. So before discussing uh, about uh, before discussing about the topic of uh, research, I would like to uh, to show you some pictures of uh, the climate change disaster which we have faced in Pakistan last year. So climate is changing, and we are facing the disaster. And we are if uh, we move with the same pace, uh, so we have to face this kind of disaster. And I, I must say that uh, we, can, uh, we can face uh, the disasters, climatic disaster with uh, more severity, severity uh, in future. And uh, we are giving a bad future to our next generation if we are going with the same uh, pace and we are not considering the changing environment. So all of us know that uh, the population is is uh, the population is expected to grow day by day, and it uh, it is expected to grow almost ten billion by uh, by twenty fifty. And uh, there are more than five hundred and seventy million farmers farms in the world, and out of which more than four hundred and seventy five million farmer farms are smaller than two hectares, which uh, which are. Uh, which is considered as uh, the smallholders farms and these uh, smallholders are often being ignored uh, in debates on the future of agriculture and left out with let out of policy making at several levels in general Climate smart agriculture practices are focused on efficient use of natural resources by cutting down the heavy dependence on synthetic inputs, decreases social and environmental externalities. The adoption of sustainable agriculture practices have not suitably justified huge funds and substantial efforts that have been dedicated to promote their benefits. So agricultural policymakers have started disappointment and uh, have pleaded to understand the phenomena that how the and why the climate is changing so drastically and uh, it uh, the and we are facing the impacts. So these were the objectives uh, to assess uh, the climate small adoption of climate small agriculture practices uh, and uh, the livelihood vulnerability due to climate change uh, on selected farms. To achieve these objectives, we have uh, selected this, uh, we had selected this, the Potohar region, which is uh, the uh, sub-mountainous region in, uh, uh, in the north of Punjab and the province uh, of uh, Pakistan. So these were the locations we have identified and uh, we visited these uh, farms uh, of the smallholders and collected data. And uh, both uh, qualitative and quantitative methods were used in this study to achieve these uh, objectives. In addition to this uh, adoption of uh, small uh, uh, CSA practices were dependent variables and uh, some independent variables were selected like uh, household age, uh, how age is uh, affecting the adoption of sustainable agriculture uh, practices, and similarly, the family size, household experience, uh, literacy, labor, and extra. And uh, to, to check the livelihood vulnerability, we, uh, uh, we have uh, chosen these indices uh, like the livelihood vulnerability indices and we have uh, modified these uh, the uh, uh, these equations according to the need uh, according to the assessment of our research area and the situation of the smallholder farmers so then uh, we uh, we checked out uh, the livelihood vulnerability developed indices developed by intergovernmental panel for climate change and then livelihood effect index. 
So these were uh, the major uh, components uh, we have used, uh, uh, we have developed uh, for uh, the analysis of uh, livelihood vulnerability uh, due to climate change. So the result shows that uh, there are uh, high adoption of uh, climate smart agricultural practices in the district in, in Chakwal region. Uh, it, it's a Chakwal district of uh, uh, the name of the district uh, in Putuha region. Only 8.2% were the high adopters in Chakwal district and 14.1% uh, uh, smallholders were high adopters of uh, they fall in the category of high adopters of climate smart agricultural practices. So the, you, you can see it's a, it's a minute uh, percentage uh, among the smallholders uh, which are going to adopt uh, the climate smart agricultural practices. Then, uh, then climate uh, smart agricultural practices uh, individually, how the farmers are adopting so we can see uh, the result in the results that 79.6% uh, farmers in Chakwal district, they choose to go for non-chemical weed control and 70.4% uh, in uh, Rawalpindi district. Similarly, uh, the data shows that literacy rate of the farmers and uh, literacy uh, rate of the farmers uh, and uh, the extension uh, services affiliation of the farmers with the government and non-government or, or organizations uh, and uh, the access to agri inputs have uh, positive impacts on the adoption of sustainable agricultural practices in Chakwal district while in uh, Rawalpindi there is uh, all these practices like uh, land uh, land size in the plot size of the farmers, literacy, extension services, and affiliation with the government or non-government organization, and uh, access to agriculture inputs. So they, these all practices, uh, these all variables have positive impact on the adoption of sustainable agriculture practices. So major components of livelihood vulnerability index shows that uh, that Chakwal district uh, in uh, among the Chakwal and Rawalpindi district, uh, Rawalpindi district is more vulnerable to natural vulnerability and climate variability, uh, while the other one and uh, while the second one, which uh, uh, which component is more affecting uh, the farmer's livelihood is finance. So, in the next. These results exposure of uh, exposure is more uh, uh, dangerous. The farmer are more exposed. Smallholders uh, farmers are uh, more exposed to climate change uh, impacts in both districts. Uh, we can see uh, the in the graphical representation of the data and uh, vulnerability indicators of livelihood effect index shows that uh, natural capital is. Uh, uh, creating more vulnerability among the smallholders, farmers uh, in the both district. So the significant in conclusion, we can conclude uh, with these uh, results that uh, the significant role of uh, social capital on adoption of just, uh, uh, on adoption suggests uh, that need of uh, launching and strengthening strengthening the regional and local institutions and service providers to speed up and sustain technology adoption. So we have to adopt the technology and uh, technology which is safer and uh, which can serve the nature and uh, which uh, have low impact on the climate uh, change. The research work on assessment of small order farmers livelihood vulnerability to climate change can contribute to develop in, in, to developing effective adaptation measures and ensuring sustainable agriculture development. So, and the climate smart agriculture practices, you know, the adoption study can provide a useful understanding for policymakers, uh, which are more important uh, for agriculture sector 
further research examining the productivity hazards, environmental and welfare implications of uh, adoption of specific climate smart agriculture practices and in combinations is important to fill the knowledge gap in bringing out the profound effect to bear on the formulation of policies related to agriculture sector. So this is all about for uh, from my side. Thank you very much for uh, your listening and cooperation uh, and for listening and your patience. Thank you very much.